admire their patience, taking inspiration, reaching peaks higher. Hello, welcome to Rappers on Bikes. I'm your host, Rupert Common. Today we are here with Helios, the Sun Eater. You're a street dancer and an MC and a beat maker. So, which do you think of these uh, elements has taught you the most about hip hop culture? Rap, 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 rap. Listening to hip hop music over the years has really just taught me the various narratives of, of people. And I find it fascinating because it's like, I don't know these people, but I get to hear their stories. And, it, and I'm like, wow, that is a time long past and a world that I don't know. So it was really interesting just delving deep and getting into it. As an MC, how do you navigate, you know, issues of identity and potential cultural appropriation? Mm. One thing I know at the end of the day is that I have a tremendous amount of love and respect for the pioneers and the people that came before me because they inspire me, plain and simple. So it's not like I'm going into it without acknowledging the roots of, of, of the culture, you know. Well, from what I've seen of your style already is like that you, you don't get lured by the accent mm. shifting, which you see in extremely celebrated rappers of today and no one seems to even talk about it. Do you have anything to say about that? Like your voice, what is, what is your voice to you as a rapper? Today, currently it's, it's one of my most prized possessions, if you will. Definitely a great tool and something I feel uh, strongly about. Regarding me using my speaking voice in rapping, it's almost like it just makes sense. I feel weird, very weird to do anything otherwise. What's the verse you have prepared for us today? Was there a specific meaning or reason? It pretty much is a recap of my journey in a way and it's nothing nothing really explicit oh like I was here during this time doing this thing with these people it's really more like mm, symbolic with the power of pen in hand and paper canvases I can change ways and repair the damages I've got shit to say synthesize life experiences minimize internalize all the while in it internalize truth Repel delirium, misinformed by the myriad of fears of false appearances that buried me in face of my years of perishing, sleeping whilst wicked ways being nefarious, uncertain as to why my imperatives were perishing. I'm still in the beginning of my narrative, telling me to grow, make moves, and not stare at opportunities in front of me, yet I'm struck by carelessness. Blessings turn to curses as the premises. First is the negligence, second is the messages sent to the pessimist to get out of the funk as the precipice. The recipe for my epic is epicness. Make a separate list, learn from the gifts, make it effortless and burn all of the sticks. That would make my head a trip to the stone cold road where I've always been breaking bones, not only flipping off of this. The adventure calls me in my life, it is all and now without my friends making music, moving free, dropping infinite being on this. The three properly connected whole squad trifecta making the link stronger. I sit in a mean pond in a pond with only clean water seated cross-legged on the lotus keeping bodily responses focused on the breathing process <sighs> What MC are you going to call out? I'm going to have to put a message out through the intergalactic waves of communication and I call out and shout out none other than the Neptunian, Shemji, Ramses, the host with the most. I would like to see him next on the show. Big respect to Helios for coming out on this beautiful sunny day and uh, catch you next time, Rappers on Bikes. Foundation. One, two, drop and I roll. Listen close when the story is told.